Welcome back to Jay Plays Football Manager. Since you guys left, form hasn't been that bad. We uh, two wins, a draw, and a loss. Can't ask for too much more than that. That's really winning form right there. I mean, seven points in four games, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, it does leave us at the top of the table with four points clear of Anon, who's taken over Sterling. But today we're facing Sterling and Berwick. Unfortunately, there's been some news since you've been gone. If we head over to the squad, you'll notice that everyone is injured. Most significantly, you'll notice that our goalkeeper is gone. Yes, our 36-year-old goalkeeper is retired. He got an injury, and then McGurn doo -doo -doo, retired. Yeah. Well, he was 36. Retired from professional soccer. I kept his uh, I kept his history, mainly because you know, he was our goalkeeper for a while there. Made 180 league appearances. Fantastic. He's been replaced by Snedden. Snedden's not good enough. Not really. Nowhere near as good as our gentleman, Mr. McGurn, was. And he's 19 years old got a great future but he's not an experienced goalkeeper and he has not been good enough so let's take a look at our squad as you can see we're in a bit of an injury crisis so it calls for a bit of a tactical change because this nonsense isn't working uh, we're gonna pop over and do a 4-4-2 do I want to do a 4-4-2 not really but that's what we're gonna do a target man and a poacher. Uh, Moore is going to be a winger on support. And we've got Miller in because he asked for some game time. And Monty got himself injured anyway. Glenn is also injured. Out for a day. He's just got a cold. Oh. Um, Monty here, two to three weeks. So, we might return to this when Monty's back, but for now, we don't have that uh, wide midfielder on support. Uh, Calvin needs to be on attack. Does he have any finishing? Not really, but we need someone on attack on the midfield. Uh, Turner, how's your finishing? 10, actually, you could be on attack, the attack. Do you have OK first touch and OK finishing, I suppose? So let's put you in the advanced playmaker position? Really? Mm. Now let's just put you as a central midfielder on attack, put you on support. There we go. Uh, back here, Paige needs to be a defensive fullback. Brett can be on the attack. And these can be defenders. You can go on defense as well, couldn't you? What's Turner's tackling? 11. Is that good enough at this level to be a ball-winning midfielder? It would be alright if we had a ball-winning midfielder. Put this guy back on attack. That could be interesting. That could be interesting. Maybe it would work. I I'm tempted just to throw more forward. But, no. No, it's not what I'm to do. Uh, don't need too many instructions. I'm going to leave it at mixed passing. I'm going to say we need to float our crosses since Todorov's out there. And he's so tall. Uh, otherwise, I don't want to put too many instructions on us. And it's against uh, Sterling, so I don't want to necessarily be in a control mentality. Uh, be more disciplined might be the way to go. Yes, be more disciplined. All right, a 4-4-2. It's not the most exciting thing in the world, but it's what we're going to do. Let's head over to the match preview. Sterling versus us. Um, you know, we've only played one match. We won it. That's, that's pretty good odds on our favor. So let's over, head over to our team selection. This is it. Uh, I did promise McLaughlin some game time. My players reacted well to my recent something please with training oh they like that I made Chris Turner the captain yeah yeah it makes sense 
Uh, McGurn was our captain. Chris Turner does real well. He was the vice captain anyway. Um, my, how do I even say this? My assistant manager thought that a player, I believe it was David Robertson here, should be our, no, no, no it wasn't Robertson. Adamson? Yeah, Adamson. He thought Adams, Adamson here should be our captain. You know, he's 28, uh, leadership 11, and you know, whatever, determination 14. You know, decent stats. Decent st the man doesn't play. He's not good enough. And he's been injured the entire season. Why would I make him captain? All right. Carlo Monti is injured. Unavailable for the match. Everyone is injured. Oh, my goodness. A lot of guys I've got out on loan are coming back soon. That will be nice. Oh, and uh, a bit of news. I tried again for Todorov to keep him uh, for, until the end of the season. He said yes. So now we're not worried about losing Todorov after this game. So continue to pep talk. Um, we're the favorites here. If we play our game, we'll win. We will. Be relaxed and motivated. Relaxed and motivated. Happy. Happy's fine. I just want you to win. Getting a winning personality. Anyway, standard, not control. Um, you know, I don't expect us to blow the doors off this game. But I do hope we can at least score a few goals and have a decent, okay defending run. Because that's what we really need is a defense that exists as opposed to relying on McGurn to stop all of the scoring that was happening before. Ooh, McLaughlin, just don't murder the man. All right, the ref didn't see it. Merle running forward with the ball. Uh, Todorov getting into position up there. Miller going to try and cross over to Calvin. Oh, yes, attacking midfielder. Yes, you are uh, you are on the right position there, Calvin. You don't need finishing if you're in a position like that. Yeah, Calvin saw it from the beginning. He just ran up the field. Did not care. And that ball through was perfect. It wasn't perfect. You know, if the opposing team had paid any attention, they could have intercepted it. Brett with the cross. And Todorov knocks it in now. No, it didn't happen. Uh, Calvin with the ball, though, and I've got some renewed faith in this man since he just scored for us. Uh, crosses it up. And foul from the opposing team. Uh, Brett's pretty good at, at our uh, penalties there. This is going to put us two up. I like it. This is, a, this is a good start to a game. I know. I know. You should probably have been playing a 4-4-2 from the beginning there, guy. Your team's not, you know, super fantastic. Why don't you just give them the the standard winningest formation because I don't want to 442's are boring that's not the formation I like to use but it's kind of like injury crisis being forced on us right now and it's working uh, 0 to 2 but our formation's been working too I mean we're top of the league so don't criticize my 424 I really did do a 424 didn't I oh well it's because that's how you do it, man. Top heavy. Uh, if we manage to keep a clean sheet this match, we may end up... Oh, wow. Merle's got a break. And... Oh, that should have gone in. Come on. you got to do better than that, Merle. Um, yeah, if we manage to keep a clean sheet this match, we might stick with a 4-4-2 for a little while. Uh, but when do we ever keep a clean sheet? And that's why. <laughs> because we never keep a clean sheet. 4-4-2's... Uh, a bit more defensive allows us to actually control the midfield a little bit which we don't do uh, typically we just do that pass it to the other team <laughs> let them let them come at us full strength that kind of thing I would really like to be up to going into the next half please do not there we go thank you Brett uh, McNaughton over to they're still on the attack here and they're pretty good uh, Page not as good as Brett, so they managed to pass it back. Morrison versus our midfielders, and Hodge gets it over to Turner. Fantastic. Turner going to send it up the field to Merle, I assume. And Merle likes scoring from here. This is what he does. Forces a save. 
Hey, forcing a save isn't bad when I thought that was going to go against us real strong. Whew, we got a good team here. I mean, we're going to have a terrible team next year. This is not a another foul. Wow. They just must not like... Um, they're not going to give us the penalty? Uh, maybe the foul is against us. Well, I'm pretty pleased with that performance. Keep it going. Start the second half. 50-50 um, possession. It's all right. So, we had six shots on target and six long shots. We created two clear-cut chances, and they had three shots on target the whole time. Snedden actually makes a save. Fantastic for a 19-year-old. He's going to get a lot of first-team soccer this year this year for a 19 year old and uh, that, that's good um, he's being looked at by some bigger teams but we don't have another goalkeeper so there's nothing we can do about it our goalkeeper retired uh, he's just not very good <laughs> he's just not very good and at 46 minutes it's 1-2 to two. maybe won't be sticking with that 4-4-2 for as long as I thought it's okay. They just kick it down the field. Lane challenges the goalkeeper one on one. Lane wins because he just runs past him because he's too far out, and he stopped charging forward. Uh, yeah, you got to charge forward. Punch that guy in the face. Uh, all right, it's over to Lane. Lane has already proven the threat that he is. So hopefully, getting the ball from him right here, there, buddy. Yeah, McLaughlin uh, up to Todorov. Uh, Todorov maybe boot it forward to Merle. There we go. Calvin with the ball. Already proven that he can do better than that. I was going to say do what needs to be done, but, well, I mean, he forced a save. Forcing a save is good because Brett's decent at crossing. Um, though our follow through on these crosses has not been fantastic. I suppose that foul earlier was my team fouling them. It's fine. Um, ref, he murdered a man in the penalty area. You could have you could have given that to us. You really could have. One to two is a little bit nerve wracking. I'm not gonna lie. Um, McLaughlin's gonna boot it forward to Moore. Moore is a very good support on the right side. Um, I don't know where that was supposed to be aimed though. I don't have him aiming to our target man right now. Maybe I should. I don't know. I, I'm not used to a 4-4-2. Lane um, preparing to do an equalizer, but he flubs it, boots the ball, goes way over the post, which is pretty nice. Brett on another corner. A lot of highlights this game. I like games with lots of highlights. Did you did you think it was just going out there, Brett? Why don't you take another shot at it? Uh, Dixon going to clear. Going to clear. Yeah. And there's Lane. Okay, Hodge. No, no. Lane one on one's the goalkeeper and scores, and it's two to two at sixty minutes. Um, pep talk. Quick, uh, quick, assertive. Demand more. Yeah. Uh, don't get complacent there, guys. Why did you stop scoring? That's what I'm really asking. Yeah. Uh, beats his man, Hodge here, and then Lane just just destroys our goalkeeper. Our goalkeeper cannot go one-on-one -on -one with that man. Oh, I need more from you guys. Last five minutes, second half. So in the second half, they've just been doing so much better. Lane scoring from that same angle, and we are not even getting shots on. Let's see. We need to go on the attack in the last few minutes. Super high tempo. Um, pump the ball forward, hit the early crosses, direct passing, take away the discipline, okay, go. I mean, a tie here is fine. Uh, it keeps us four points clear, looks like. Actually, five points clear of Anon, who I suppose are tying in their own game or losing it if they don't have a game in hand or something. And the last few minutes... Yeah, looks like it's going to be a tie. It's fine. I I can live with a tie. I I like being five points clear. <laughs> five points clear to half this 
halfway through the season is not actually a bad result. Um, not good enough today. We should have been winning, but uh, these stats say that they played okay, so unlucky. Fine. Uh, I think we just fell off in the second half. We got confident and we didn't do it. Anon actually still does have a game in hand, so this is likely to be a lot closer after tomorrow. First of January game. Uh, and a bunch of my loan outs end, which might give me a chance to reevaluate tomorrow what my team format needs to be. Kenny Addison has not been playing since the beginning of the season. He's back. Yay. Uh, so I get a lot of youngsters tomorrow that someone else loaned out for me. Uh, Hegarty gets the boss award. I'm in third. Yeah, you guys don't care as much about this stuff. Shoot, shooting with power. He's got some strength. He doesn't actually have any finishing. I hope he doesn't shoot at all. All right, I'll see you guys for the next game. And we're back to our game against Berwick. Berwick sitting at the bottom of the league, I think. It's gonna, yep, they're right there at the bottom. Uh, with only 18 points in 18 games. That's what we want to see because we need these points for today. If we're going to be a real threat to win and hold our position at the top of the league for the rest of the season. Now, uh, after their game in hand, Anon seems to have tied, so they're still four points below us. This win could put us seven points top of the league. That would be fan-freaking-tastic with just league lane games left to go. Um, we can just hold on to the form we've been in for the entire first half of the season. We, we're shoe-ins here. And I really want to win this league, get my reputation up, and get out of this team. Usually when I play this game, I don't do this. I don't come in, kind of destroy a team, and then leave. But this team just has no hope next season. They have no money. They have a whole bunch of loan players. I can't get a senior affiliate for the team. Not because the board doesn't want to, because none of these senior affiliates really want to be involved with us. Literally, they looked and everyone said no. Uh, just having a quick look at my own profile, still don't even have half a star here. So, I don't know. I can't even get a better license. It's bad. Anyway, let's go to tactics. This is going to be the team we submit. We're not sticking with the 442. Actually, that's because Miller got injured. Shock of shocks. Our injury crisis is coming to the to its end a little bit. A lot of our guys are back, but oh, ho ho ho! Miller got injured, so Glenn's back in the side. Glenn's actually not half bad. Uh, two and a half stars. Uh, some decent finishing, but uh, I really want Monty. But Monty's out for another six to twelve days. Submit the team. Uh, Glenn's lacking in max sharpness because he's just off of injury. And Burrow have been finding it difficult. Yeah, they're at the bottom of the league. And we've been, uh, and this is us at home, so we've got a good shot here. Uh, all right. 150th league appearance. Uh, I'm delighted. He's a wonderful player, five example, person we want. Uh, my job is to win. <laughs> Are you going to play attacking football? Come on, man. I'm not going to tell you my plans right before the match. Uh, let's see. Uh, show them that they've been right to back you up. Motivate everyone. Uh, I have faith in you. Let's get real motivated and happy. I think there's more to come for you. I believe you've got what it takes. All right. Uh, skip this wonderful intro. I like this formation that they're using. That's actually a formation I use quite often. The uh, three two three two <laughs> uh, with the wing backs on the side. It's actually very nice defensive formation with a lot of attacking possibilities. With these wing backs on the attack, it does really well. Uh, but we're doing in for a control mentality today. Our instructions are be more disciplined, shorter passing. 
mix crosses, control, prevent short go kicker distribution, that kind of thing. Quick cancel here, show the first half. Um, we're getting most of the shots on, uh, but it looks like they're preparing for a break. Nope, Turner's got it. Good. Uh, Todorov got some quickness in him, shoots, rebounds. Uh, Fairbarn is going to clear it. Uh, Todorov should have done a little bit better with that. He could have moved forward before he took the shot, and there was uh, Merle up there for him to pass it to. But he felt like, hey, you know what? I can score right now, and that's an attitude that I want him to have because he's usually pretty good, and he did hit the crossbar. That goalkeeper would, if it would have been a couple inches to the left, that goalkeeper would not have stopped it. We've got several shots on tar on here, um, most of them not on target, a lot of long shots. Brett can score from this. Oof, came close. Didn't make it. It's fine. Uh, Berwick's only got one shot on target, one half chance. So we're dominating, but we're not putting them in the net, which is where they need to go. I want a bit of a better performance. These guys are not... This is not their best. I need to talk to them about not doing well. Disappointed with their defensive efforts. Uh, I know you're capable of making a difference. I'm disappointed with the finishing. Start taking. I, I've learned not to tell them that they should be controlling the midfield when there's only two people in the midfield. They they usually get a little bit salty about that get confused, demotivated, that kind of thing. Um, because they're, you know, there's only two of them. Maybe we should switch from control to attack. We're not really maintaining uh, possession here. We've only got 44% versus their 56%. A lot of shots on goal doesn't mean much if you, unless you actually put some behind the net. Or into the net, rather. Behind the net usually means you missed. Alright, and nothing happening so far the second half. Some yellow cards, some shots by us that are not going in. Uh, maybe we should stop with the long shots, start working the ball into the box. If we hit 75 minutes and nothing's happened here, I'm going to switch to an attacking mentality. Yeah. So we're going to go to an attacking mentality, change our instructions, pump the ball forward, hit the early crosses, float our crosses and take off and be more disciplined balanced okay let's see if that makes a difference a little pep talk assertively push forward uh, Anon looks to be winning their match which is going to give them can't you guys score? come on uh, they're going to catch up to us a little bit here. They're only going to be two points behind us if we don't score here. And what is with the yellow cards? Oh, this is bad. Couldn't score against the worst team in the league. Oh, they probably just sat in defense the whole time. Anyway, we should have won. We should have won. Uh, still top of the league, but only by two points now. No games in hand for anyone, so that's good. Uh, we've just drawn two more matches than Anon has. Not the best. Now our goal difference is still hugely in our favor. Uh, two, two, two. Leave the match. Alright guys, let's see where we want to come back. Where is Anon? Right here. They're the ones challenging us, and it's right with the Arbor. So we'll be back for the game with Anon and Arbra. And ooh, that's, that's a bit of space, though. Maybe Clyde and Anon. Yeah, we're, we're going to be back for Clyde and Anon's game. And hopefully um, that, that'll be a, a good time for us. We'll, uh, we'll be well ahead in the league. Four wins in between now and then, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. This team is just having so many injury problems. Uh, and Motherwell is wanting our only goalkeeper. That's that's not good. I am looking for a, a new goalkeeper. I'm not sure what to do. Uh, to do Anon have been the feel-good story. 
It's been nice for them. Uh, impressive run over Berwick. We didn't beat Berwick today, did we? Schedule. No, we tied against Berwick. That's not an impressive run. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I only want to win. It was a great achievement. I don't think it's going to happen. You've been brilliant. You've enjoyed a brilliant season, defying your expectations every turn, and have been become a most compelling story. How far can your team go? Uh, optimistic and ain't high. The referee had much work today. Your side picked up a lot of cards. Uh, does that evident aggression worry you? I prefer a more conservative approach. Poor result. I'm sure you're already aware that a non have won today. How significant could today come at the end of the season? We don't need to panic as long as we focus on doing our jobs. I don't know who Patrick Martin is. Oh, their goalkeeper. Probably. Uh. Alright. So apparently we gave their goalkeeper a workout. Alright, guys. I will see you. Do do do. Uh, in the Clyde game.